Okay, so hi there and welcome back to Q's Nursery and I have not done a video for five days. I don't know how I haven't managed to do it. I've been really busy with school so I decided to get back and make another video. This video is, as you can see on the title up above, is uh, can you help, like, help me identify my pepper plant. So I just want to start off showing you how amazing all this growth is on this nasturtium plant. And nasturtiums are lovely flowers, you can eat them. Uh, quite a spicy flavour behind them. You can also eat leaves. And I'm going to be doing some seed saving videos on this. There's some seeds inside, but we still need to wait for it to dry out. So let's go and take a look at my pepper plant. Got to move this out of the way. As you can see, it's been growing all the little chilies here have been growing quite dramatically I'd say we've got some nice colour here I'm just gonna pick one I think pick that nice uh, small one here okay I'm just gonna get some scissors I'm just picking the smallest of the bunch just to help you see how you can identify it I'll also be posting some photos, but as you can see, it's quite a small fruit. Um, it's quite a nice fruit, actually, I think. I can squeeze it quite nicely. And I'm going to try and open this up first. So, that's the smallest of the fruit. They're not much bigger than that. Maybe just about that big or something. Uh, the size of the fruit, which is about... Ooh, I'll measure that in inches for you very soon. Uh, it's about two to three inches about the size of them and let's see what we have inside so cut it down the middle it smells like quite a sweet pepper to me it's got quite a few seeds it smells like one of those sweet peppers but I'm not sure so I'm going to give it a taste okay So the garden is a bit of a mess, but I got a clean knife and I'm going to try this. Never tried it before. I do hope that this is edible. Okay. There's possibly some. I'm going to clear out all the seeds. Do you clear out the centre? I don't know. I'm not an expert, but luckily I ordered. Okay, so. Uh, I haven't had any milk, well I just had it that much, that was all that le was left. But it, I can still feel the effects. I have to say, I do actually quite like the taste of ho uh, hot chilli. It is, it's, it's very spicy, it's quite quite an odd feeling. Um, I haven't had a chilli as hot as this, I've had some really hot, there was a really hot green chilli in the market the other day, that was really hot, but whew, I thought I coped with the other one really well because I've never had anything as hot as this so I hadn't coped with it as well as I was expecting but obviously I didn't know what it was going to be like so it's going to be a hot chilli and I'm just going to take some photos around and uh, I find that if you breathe in a bit like that um, that helps a bit with the heat what I've done but uh, yeah I'm going to preserve the um, flesh, eat it um, try and practice, train me up to try some of the uh, hottest chilies in the world which is one of my things that I'm going to be doing okay God, it's also one great way to get rid of a cold I remember when we have curries we think oh we're going to have a really spicy curry today with like chilli powder and then your cold is gone it's amazing so I hope you enjoyed the photos and the talk through that I did and luckily all the heat is basically gone now. It was, I, I actually quite liked it I think. I'll probably have the other part when we get some more milk. I'm going to try uh, preserving some of these. I'm going with my new garden I'm going to try uh, growing some uh, gherkins like the little cucumbers uh, pickling them and preserving them and then adding in some chilli for a bit of nicer uh, spice because I'm getting some really hot chilies very soon um, some like the but 
Jolka or something like the ghost chili and some other things so we can't wait for that and that's it so please if you can identify this for me I really like it check out Gummer for England's channel he uh, doesn't live that far away from me um, that is in the world he's actually very close to me if we were in the world scale but quite a few hours away in England a great gardening channel with lots of cool videos uh, same as Garden Frugal channel um, he has uh, really great videos as well he's just made uh, some canning videos um, of his uh, jalapenos or something like that can't pronounce it properly like with most of these things but oh well there you go I'm trying so thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed that and see you again soon um, from the garden and me goodbye